you may as a student even help someone who can be your to tomorrow an employer for you you don't know whom you are helping maybe he is an hr director or he is a sales manager or he is a ceo of a company maybe you are helping somebody who is a businessman give them a spectacular hearing for their issues get into their shoes help them to come out to a dramatic positive engagement and environment excite them with your communication become their buddy it should be easy for future leaders to engage these through new ways of social media opportunities as i earlier said you are part of the zomatization and uberization and polarization some of elders are not they don't know how to use the twitter i did not know how to use the zoom i just learned share the beauty of these new ways of life significantly change the mindset and dramatic high catching new ways of getting better you are going to help these people and please don't forget because you look at me i also have two sons who are like you i am the producer of future generation so respect the elders and get them to uh, supporting them that is when i talk about spectacular and the next one is self belief it is important for you to believe in yourself your responsibilities your accountabilities as the ambassador of new india youngest star if you lose confidence if you do not believe in yourself how can you add value to others and how can you make others to be in self belief the role of future leaders therefore youngest star can be significantly important to volunteer to set goals of at least 10 known people or unknown people who have lost their confidence look at them you can't go to them personally in case you can go personally and help them nearby fine but otherwise through social media through contact through mobile that connected to those people who have lost confidence become their mentors it is not necessary that a mentor should be of a higher age mentors are necessary those people who actually guide and hold and support gone are the days when we used to have mentors and they are people my mentor is dr kiran bedi my mentor is padmashri dr kiran sen but then there are very senior people in my life so in 2015 i thought i lack certain things i made two mentors one in thailand and one in india two girls 30 33 year old they came out mentors and i learned from them so what i am trying to share here is that you have a possibility of mentoring some of the people who need you most i wish to tell you that as you do it now you may actually get into some partnerships later even today then you increase your own confidence level and you support others to in uh, you know engage and uh, excite their self belief probably some of the people who are into tough times of emotions may come out from that and they will be supporting you when you need something else therefore identify and act now i mean act now i mean it now and help people to develop and nurture self belief in this process you know what will happen you will yourself build more stronger confidence you will yourself build more stronger self belief for yourself frankly speaking you don't still understand what i am trying to say but if you start doing it you would see the results yourself i can be of great help to people and at the end of the day to yourself your confidence level i can do it i guarantee it helps then i come to the last one supply supply means extremely unparalleled action 
leading to excitement, which you should understand. Rather, it is the beauty of excellence. Within days, weeks, everything changed. So what do we do? We cry, scream, yes, do that, but then that is not the way to come out of this. You have to make yourself smarter, stronger, to look ahead, look for future. Take really an unparalleled action, which is what sublime means. Do you understand romancing in life? You're all highly romantic people. You just do not need to meet someone with a total plan. You just meet eyes, nose, cheeks, everything speaks, that's loud. And what happens? You're bound to meet and get going. It's unexpected connection coming to an unexpected time. Unknown people, unbelievable coincidence through this connect. Am I right? That is where excitement is. So when I am talking about sublime, here I am talking about the connections leading to love and care for people who need you most. When you do this, this is going to be more extraordinary love, which you never expected and thought, but this present times can make it happen. And you can fall in love with somebody who may need you for a job tomorrow. You may fall in love with the entrepreneur who may need you tomorrow to support. You may find a partner with whom you can start building a company. You may need a job tomorrow and the person has a job. So fall in love and you may actually look for a partner of life. You never know finally where you are going to be. So I have weekly given you high west salvage, stress, spectacular, self-belief and sublime. These are the five steps for future leaders to be successful beyond things and build a future and avoid yourself getting jammed into these difficult times. There could be people in the process who could be your future employers. And there could be people who could be your partners. If you wish to get them into any venture, there could be people who could be your partners. I don't know. You need to tie this and see yourself. There will surely be something great coming. When this COVID is over, in the next three months, four months, or six months, most months, probably you can build a success story of yourself with this virus. Who share with the world success story and who share with me? I know if you seriously work and act on this, there will surely be success story. You are bound to do that if you have total positive thinking while listening to me at this stage. Stories will look into new stories of life. Now, I want, while you will create a story of yourself with five S, with these five steps, and create 10 people wherein you can work out of 10, there will be certainly someone who will be your future employer, your partner, your business partner, or your life partner. Let me, before I ask you questions, let me give you a story. The story is, and you will understand, the story will give you a quick learning. You understand there are four things which we never get recovered in life. A stone, when it is thrown, we can't get it back. Words, when it's spoken, it is gone. Time. When we waste the time, it is gone. Opportunity. Once it's missed, it is gone. Just consider average lifespan 70 years. Multiply by 12. That is how many months we have in our life. In this life, it is represented, and I have a jar. It's represented in a jar with 840 stones. And every year, 12 is thrown out of the jar, born forever, and never come back. Look at this. These are stones. This is life. This is DK Bakshi's life. Say, for example, we have 840 here. Maybe in today's day, there will be 300. I have lived a lot of life. 
So you are youngest and you have not lived that life as yet. So every year, 12 stones go out and it's gone. Now, how many stones you have in this jar to make a mark? Do something now. Decide now, Yangistan. Utilize your time well. Before time will treat you well. Think about these stones. Invest in taking care of your body first. Health is well. Invest in nurturing your relationship with your faculty, with your teacher, with your brothers, sisters, friends, future employers. Invest in pursuing, cultivating meaningful life. Invest in pursuing your professional growth. If you, by some reason, you get stuck till now, this COVID brings you an opportunity to rethink, rebuild, reestablish your life. Hey, Yangistan, this is the time when you decide to be mad, MAD. Make a difference to your life and the lives of others, personally and professionally. This Every year, these 12 pieces should bring in something greater in your life. Take this opportunity right away, right away from this COVID to rethink, re-establish yourself. So I have given you some steps which is going to be successful for your professional and personal lives. I would now like to take open questions and respond to you before we finally close the program. I have opened the questions. Okay, yes. uh, sir, one, yeah. Uh, students can please write their questions in uh, chat what box so that- ask, you ask, you ask. Uh, Actually, sir, we have uh, more than uh, 60 participants. So uh, in oh. case, uh, yeah, everybody yeah, starts speaking at the same time. So they can write their question. Students, please write your question in the chat box so that I can read and I can uh, then ask from uh, DK Bakshi, sir. That would be a convenient way. And please keep it direct and crisp and short one. Meanwhile, uh, sir, just wanted to understand, uh, you talked about self-belief. So uh, can you just uh, tell us that what can be the motivating factor that would push uh, us uh, towards that uh, we can continue with our self-belief? I just talked about the power of positivity. Power of positivity, power of passion, power of persistence. So when you are very clear about that I need to do it, that is the power. So when you believe in power of positivity of yourself, you build your self-esteem higher and higher. When you believe in the power of passion, that is the madness, that is the romance of life, the jaloon, then you build your self-esteem. So self-belief comes from self-esteem. So when you believe in the power of persistence, persistently working on something and getting it, even if you fail, to fall is not a failure. It is only when you do not get up again. So you fail, get up again and go. Because failures are part of life. So in order to believe in yourself, when you fail, you get up again, you will build your self-belief. Some people will fail and remain there only when their self-confidence, self-belief is gone. It's power of positivity, power of passion, power of persistence. Right. Uh, one uh, question also, one I just wanted to ask that uh, law of karma we talk about, that it's important for our holistic growth. So how do we go for introspection and grow in our life? This is a very important question and in fact, for, uh, you know, for all of us today, I don't know whether these students are uh, watching this Mahabharata and Ramayana. When we look at these uh, epics of our life and we learn that how Sita, you just see the other day when um, uh, Sita finally went back to Rama and finally Rama said, I need to do a testing again. And and see what she did. 
तो शी सेट मदर अर्थ दिस इज द पावर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अगर मैं पवित्र हूं मेरी धरती में मेरे को हो जाए एंड यू नो व्हाट हैपन सो इवन एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम अ फ्रॉमस इट अ टाइम एंड कितना पवित्र और कितना सिंपल और कितनी कितनी मैसेज है मिल रही है हमें so we should actually exactly. work with the youngsters in classrooms on epics of mahabharata and ramayana to give them and internalize what has gone wrong what has gone wrong today we are all today living without mall without um, you know uh, night out without uh, any uh, we have not purchased anything last 8 uh, weeks we have not gone to any club we have not gone to any restaurant so we need to get into basics we lost basics we this other earth and we disrespected the entire spectrum of life because uh, especially millionaires i am talking about millionaires all up to bhagwan hai hum to khuda hai a businessman thought i am a i am a god i give employment to 5000 people or 500 people and finally see whether which color you are with nationality you are whether you are a businessman whether you are a prime minister or prime minister's wife in canada everybody get got into covid so you have to get yourself look at yourself and keep on rebuilding what is required to be alive the internalization is every day who am i challenge yourself who am i what have i come to this world what is the purpose of my life what do i contribute that is what the power is yeah thank you thank you so much uh, sir and uh, one question is coming from our faculty mr saurav mittal that uh, our life is a reflection of our surroundings so how do we mold our life for development yeah we always talk about environment education and experience when we are born so we live in an environment we get an education by our teachers parents fathers and those days used to be buas and masis and grandmothers living in the laps of grandmothers now things are different and uh, then experience in life so it's up to us to decide when we get a bad experience whether i take it when we get a good experience i must run about it so even if there are surroundings which are negative which are bad so how do we go oh, i guess that i'll be a few story it used to be a, there used to be two brothers and both brothers from one father one mother and they were uh, checked and one of the guy one of the brother was doing very well in the uh, industry he was well known eh? other brother was drinking every day and uh, he was not doing anything great so everybody thought let's talk to three these two brothers they talked to the brother who was uh, drinking every day and not taking care of his family and people said hey why are you like that he said hey what can you expect from me when my father used to come back home and you know what he used to do he used to drink and he used to beat my mother what do you expect me to do so i learned it from him my god so they were the other brother other brother they said hey why are you different what do you do your father used to come back home and he used to drink a lot and he used to beat your mother so then my father used to come back home he used to beat my mom he was drunk i used to say i can never be like this i can never be like this i can never be like this so one motivation but they took it differently so even if there's an environment negative it's up to you to decide that's where you salvage that's where you uh, do have a self belief and sublime differently if you always do what you have always done you will always get what you have always got hence to think different you need to be looking at different yes any other question yes yes sir there is one question radhika you please check yes yeah. sir yes sir i'm there uh yeah sir there is one of the questions from one of our faculty members dr parul uh she says that find the purpose of your life how to do that we are so much busy with today's day living and managing things that somewhere we don't even get time to introspect 
so how do you find the purpose of a life and this is what is actually covid has given you an opportunity to rethink and reevaluate now uh, i see that also uh, earlier days people were saying we should work from home work from home now people say no 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 we don't want to work from home we want to get back to office so i think it's very important for us to spend some time on ourselves make a balance sheet and when i make a balance sheet what i have done in balance sheet put your strengths double work on areas of opportunity i'm not talking about weaknesses opportunities and weaknesses work on areas of improvement or opportunities and these threats i don't talk it threats i talk in transforming solutions so make a complete balance sheet and write this balance sheet and then i would like you to write your arbitrary make your arbitrary statement i have written my arbitrary statement so arbitrary is when i die what will people talk about me so when you think about that with a balance sheet what you have done till now and when i am going to die what is going to be the arbitrary of dk bakshi or saurabh or anybody naira what will people talk about when you keep that in mind and when you have uh, this swat and you need to take out time you can't say i have no time we all have 24 hours in life nobody has got 40 hours we have to take out time for ourselves and people are saying i have no time for my health i have no time for yoga i have no time uh, for, you know uh, spending time with the family all nonsense time has to be in case you don't take out time for yourself then what do you do you go you have many diseases take care of your health that's what i talked about in stress take care of your health your body and i am not talking your body only mental physical i mean start doing kapal bhati get into pranayams so someone saying that i don't have i don't agree please plan you, you know some of the people who work in factories 24 by 7 three shifts do you know that factories also take a shutdown have you not heard maruti or hyundai or lg or samsung oh they have a shutdown of 10 days what does that shutdown mean in that shutdown all the machines all the equipments are being rebooted are being looked at so similarly when did you take your last shutdown i am asking this faculty man so please take a shutdown please evaluate yourself please revisit your goals please revisit your purpose please revisit your vision plan for the future and look at your arbitrary statement what kind of what kind of arbitrary is going to be there after i die that is very important next yes sir so also please i request you to kindly remove the banner is there any other question yes yes sir now so there is a question from one of the students how to take risk by taking different initiatives by listening your heart how to how to take the risk easily by taking different initiatives by listening to your heart i want to ask this student has he ever been in a romantic situation romance is a risk we are all mad people we get mad about our romance in life so risk is what i mean you you need to crossing a road is a risk getting into a train train can collapse is a risk so risk is part of our lives so risk is not for me risk is for my desire and a genuine to achieve something so when i am passionate when i am mad i don't care about the risk risk does not stop me so when i am playing cricket and a ball can come and hit me it doesn't matter i am ready to 
be the uh, batsman of the world. Sachin is the great batsman of the world. So people, athletes will think there is a risk. No risk. Or is it that there is a risk? Today, COVID has come. Are COVID going to beat us? We have to beat COVID. So we are in a risky stage. So use your mask. Take, take precautions, and but get into the world. Don't wait. Nobody is going to make road for you. You have to build your road yourself. Nobody is going to drive for you. You have to drive yourself. Nobody is going to give you money free. You have to make your road yourself. Nobody is going to give you a job free. You have to look for a job yourself. We have CR CRCs in business school. We have these people who practically get jobs for students. No, students should be actually themselves working with the corporates. They should connect in first year itself. Students should connect and these ten corporate leaders make job of business school is it's your brand. After ten years, fifteen years, when you go back to GL Bajaj, that time people should be welcome. These are the bright students who built their own connect to get their own placement done. You have to fall in love. Falling in love, there's no risk. Next. Yes, sir. Uh, there is a question: How to get rid of anxiety in this time of pandemic? So I guess you have told us a couple of points, but again, there is a question from one yeah. of the students. So in case you are anxious, first of all, leave your WhatsApp negative messages. Leave the television. Don't watch the negative messages. Once a while, take a stock of what's going on, and the moment you get negativity, come out of it. Better get into something which excites you. मेरे सामने वाली खिड़की में एक चांद सा टुकड़ा रहता है अफसोस ये है कि वो हमसे कुछ उखड़ा मुखड़ा रहता है This is my song from my childhood. Now still today I can't forget this song, and I used to sing it when I was in college those days. Now this is where which can excite you. Which can ignite you, which can create your passion, bring you back when you are in anxiety. And in case you can learn pranayam, that will give you a lot of relief. Second is talk to your parents in case they are not there. Talk to them on phone. Talk to them on Skype. Talk to them on WhatsApp video call. Talk to your friends, and talk to your teachers. Talk to your schoolmates. I am talking to my schoolmates every day. Last six weeks, uh, four of us are on WhatsApp almost every week because we are talking about uh, you know a world of seventies uh, and eighties. So to be anxious, mar gaya, mar gaya, mar gaya, mar gaya, yar, mar gaya. So yar, let's get going. So you need to decide what you want to do. It's no question of getting not to get out of anxiety. Passion, right. the noon. Positivity and I will strive for it. That I need to beat it. I need to beat it. I need to beat it. I always say, Who am I? I am a champion. Who am I? I am a champion. Who am I? I am a champion. But I say every day morning, Who am I? I am a champion. Who am I? I am a champion. Who am I? I am a star. Who am I? I am a champion. Who am I? I am a star. Who am I? I am a champion. The power of positivity gets into DNA and blood veins. So I am a champion. Right. Right, Vakshi sir. We are left with just six minutes. So, last oh. question. I yeah, I would like to take a last question of the student. Uh, so, the question is: Is ego important in life? And if yes, how to control that? If yeah, ego. I will say ego is intoxicating. <laughs> Pride is better. Feel proud of what you do. Feel great what you do. Ego is intoxicating. Ego is jealousy. Ego will kill you. Ego. Will destroy families. Ego will destroy teams. Ego will destroy countries. Pride of being is important. Ego, keep it away. Right, Kill sir. ego. Right, and sir. So, are are we any other question? Uh, I was. Uh, I was yes, sir. We, so we are through with the questions. Okay, a quick song for everybody. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
जवानों का अलबेलों का मस्तानों इस देश में यारो इस बाजारिस्तान बाजारिस्तान और सो amazing amazing sir uh, sir we would like now director sir to conclude this session with his concluding remarks yes yeah so it was a wonderful session and uh, uh, i was able to recall the earlier session in which was held in 2002 so i could very well correlate to the voice and the vigor in voice and uh, he was talking to youngestan but he himself is so young at heart and so young uh, voice also very 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 benefiting sessions uh, i believe that uh, all the students and all faculty members who participated today must have got uh, some good uh, uh, take away from this session must have learnt about how to live life how to how to accept life under under such circumstances and must have benefited and uh, one must practice whatever uh, has been told by uh, uh, mr bakshi that uh, if you have five minutes time even you go for yoga or you practice it if you are free enjoy enjoy your life have huge ball interact with your parents interact with your colleagues find out some close friend of your childhood and get connected talk to him because in future again whenever this lockdown will not be there you will not be getting time for all these things and those uh, things remain a sweet memory forever in your, uh, one's life and that will naturally reenergize you and give you a uh, sort, sort sort of boost for boost for your work and your career and your life and it will add positivity in your life thank you very much sir thank you very much right we had we had great learning and uh, i love to interact with you i enjoyed a lot right yeah. sir uh, thank you so much acha hindustan ta hamara sir with this gulsta hamara with this i radhika malhotra on behalf of gl bajaj institute of management and research would express my heartfelt thanks to dk bakshi sir to all the distinguished guests to our director sir ajay kumar sir for providing us with this platform and having such a wonderful session and uh, sir you have really spoken so well regarding the five steps that are required in today's difficult time for our management graduates you talked about youngest son that was the, wherein you know the youngest son can never be scared of thank you thank you so much sir for your valuable time thank you stay stay home stay safe stay alive bharat mata ki jai vande mataram thank you thank you thank you sir thank you thank you very much